Hey everyone, welcome to the Chamber Spotlight. I'm Lori Hansroth with the Berkeley Springs Morgan County Chamber of Commerce and today we are very pleased to welcome Lillian Omar to the studios. Uh, Lillian is a volunteer with the Morgan County Humane or the Humane Society of Morgan County. I always try to get that reversed. Um, the Humane Society has been active in Morgan County now for over 36 years. You guys have done an amazing job simply amazing job um, and I, as I understand it you have a board of directors yes. as well as a lot of volunteers yes okay um, I'm sure you're always looking for volunteers always and also board members okay um, so if someone wants to volunteer at the Humane Society what do they do they pretty much come into the shelter sign a waiver that uh, they are insured mm -hmm. and anybody who wants to volunteer has to be over 18 or mm -hmm. they need to bring a parent so we are not uh, responsible mm -hmm. for any incidents which usually do not happen but we just try to keep the volunteers um, occupied mm -hmm. taking care of things that we need on a daily operation or with the animals so it can be visiting animals it could be helping with laundry right. it could be cleaning right. cages right. It's whatever right. the humane right. society needs at that exactly. point exactly okay. great and it's nice to know that that's a volunteer opportunity for young people absolutely as long yep. as they have an adult with them yes, so yes. that's wonderful yes. well as, as i understand it uh, the humane society is a no-kill shelter which is amazing that's, yes, that's great that you're difficult. able to do yeah. that it's very yeah. difficult um, and you focus more on cats where um, Morgan County Animal Control focuses more on dogs. Right, right. Um, so I'm sure you've got quite a few cats in there right now. Yes, we do, especially as a population in the spring and fall. Mm -hmm. Kittens are born and they are born sometimes at the shelter to pregnant mamas that were dropped in, dropped by, surrendered. Mm -hmm. So it is a big issue. We do have dogs that are owners surrendered, but generally they seem to be uh, faster going in the adoptions mm -hmm. uh, as, than the cats for some reason. Right, and you have people that can come in and adopt, just families. Absolutely. Um, but then you also work with some rescues yes. so that we can yes. get those dogs out there yes. and fostered yes. and, and taken yes. care of. Um, well, of course, along with all those cats, I know that you guys do a lot of educating as far as responsible pet ownership. Right, right. Uh, at different events. I've seen you set up at the fair yes, or yes, uh, yes. different things. And uh, along with that, you guys are involved in some spay and neuter programs. Absolutely. We have just received a grant from Dan and Debbie Zimmerman. Mm -hmm. And this grant allows us to run two programs. One is TNR, tap, Trap, Neuter, and Release. Mm -hmm. And the other one is just paying, basically spaying uh, household animals for needy people mm -hmm. that otherwise would have not been fixed right, right which is really important because not getting an animal fixed and procreating is is a big issue especially that's what we see with the cats the right. outside cats and it has been an epidemic in Morgan County mm -hmm. we used to get grants we used to apply for grants for TNR and unfortunately our grants were about five thousand dollars which was a drop in the bucket. Now right. we do have substantially more money to be able to fix everybody that. So the um, the TNR, the trap neuter release, can help with the feral cat population. Absolutely, yes. So yes. someone who has a lot of cats running around right. in their neighborhood could mm -hmm. contact you about trapping yes. these cats, getting them yes. neutered, spayed, yes. Yes. and then they can be released. Right, and we make all the arrangements. The owner, well, certainly they are not owners, but mm -hmm. they're the person who brings them in mm -hmm. uh, makes an appointment. We make an appointment at one of the vets, and they are responsible for just uh, basically transporting the animals there, and then they are released after that, which means they will not procreate, and we will decrease the population. And mm -hmm. all kinds of uh, diseases spreading out of overpopulation of cats, mm -hmm. so that is a big issue. That's a huge issue. Um, so, you know, as you mentioned, you guys go for a lot of grants. Yes, um, because you rely on grant funding, um, donations, right, and fundraisers. Right, right, Your right. large fundraiser is in the spring. Uh, we have uh, Petapalooza in March, and mm -hmm. we have an annual dinner, which is in the fall, in okay. September. Okay. Um, and I know throughout the year, you guys have a wish list of things. That, yes. You know, if, if folks can't donate money, they can pick up some things at the grocery store and bring in. Right. What are some of the things that, that really help? Right. I do have a wish list here. Mm -hmm. And these, let me just read these out. Uh, bleach, paper towel, laundry detergent, wash uh, detergent, Dawn dish mm -hmm. detergent, uh, postage stamps, postcard stamps, kitty litter, we need clay kitty litter, Kirkland cat food, 
pedigree, dog food, canned dog food, blankets, copy paper, trash bags. Right. Pretty much anything that a household would use. And we specifically ask for this different brand of cat and dog food because they are a little bit higher in quality. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's important too that you don't have 10 different kinds of cat and dog food dropped yes. off because yes. their stomachs get upset and right, then that's right, much right. more difficult it's, and yes. stressful on the animals. Right. Right. So right. that's that's understandable. And um, folks could pick these lists up at the, at Humane, the Humane Society. Society. Yes. Okay. And then do you all have you have a Facebook page? Yes, we do. And what about a website? We have our website, our web address is www.hsmc hyphen wv.org. So Humane Society in Morgan County. County West Virginia. West Virginia dot org. Okay, perfect. So um, if folks are looking for a place, since we are coming up to the end of the year, they might want to make a donation. You guys absolutely. are a 501c3, so it right. is a tax deductible yeah, donation. Yes. So that's great for everyone to keep in mind. Um, tell me what your hours are at the shelter. Uh, we are open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 4.30. Okay. And do folks have to make an appointment if they want to come visit with the animals to, to adopt? They can stop over mm -hmm. through our website. They can download an application if they are interested in an animal. And our website goes out to different databases, so all the animals are listed pretty much nationally. So the application can be downloaded from the website, filled out in advance, and they can come in. This is especially important for the dogs because mm -hmm. dogs are very specific to owners. Right. Um, so it's a good idea to just kind of stop over before, visit, bring, mm -hmm. a, bring the animal they may have at home. Uh, cats are much simpler because yes. it's either, yes, I love the cat, or no, I don't. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so, no. Uh, okay. so you do have your the um, ever, all the animals at the shelter yes. are on yes. several different websites. So people could actually go there, see a picture of them, right. and even right. kind of right. check things out in yes. advance. Yes, absolutely. And description is listed in the website. And our website is usually pretty up to date with mm -hmm. whoever is in the shelter because that all goes together. Uh, it's really important for us to check the credentials of the owner, not credentials, but that they are legitimate homeowners, mm -hmm. for instance, that their landlord is not going to say, oh, you can't have a pet, right. that they actually, if they have other pets, that they are all fixed up to date on shots. We do check this out for an adoption to actually mm -hmm. be completed. Well, that all goes with your your um, mission to make yes. sure that people are being responsible, right. pet owners, right. and, it, and it's looking out for the animal. Right. So that's right. certainly right. understandable. Well, we certainly appreciate everything that you all do for the county. Thank you. Uh, we would certainly be in a much worse condition if you guys weren't yes. taking care of these yes. animals. Yes, yes. We I only have one predicament that since we are an Oak Hill adoption shelter, I think not everybody understands that we can only take in animals if we have space for them and that mm -hmm. especially applies to cats. Okay. And sometimes people in the community get a little bit frustrated because we will say no we do not have any space mm -hmm. uh, but once adoptions happen then of course right. we do uh, accept. So the best way is for folks to call ahead yes, and make sure is, that there's space. Yes, Don't yes. just bring the animals no. in and drop them off at the door. No, That's not, not good, good for the animals yes, and it doesn't yes. help the Humane Society. Yes, exactly. um, so the best thing they can do is support the Humane Society through donating items from the grocery store, right. um, donations to your fund, and helping yes. with adoptions, making yes. sure that everybody knows we've got you know, some senior cats in there that would love Absolutely. to go home for the Christmas Absolutely. season. Absolutely, yes, so, yes. Awesome. And volunteers are always appreciated also. Oh, well, thank you so much for coming in today, Lillian. Thank you. Um, you can check out this video and more at berkeleyspringscommunitymatters.com. My name is Lori Hansrock. I'm with the Berkeley Springs Morgan County Chamber of Commerce, reminding all of you to remember our nonprofit organizations this fall. Take care. Bye.